All right, so welcome to episode two. Ah, you love being really close to my face. I bet you do. Uh -huh. So I have done a little bit, done a little tiny bit. I did some decorating. I did some test decorating to see what I could come up with. So last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to put some uh, geode-like things in the uh, cave down here. And this is what I came up with for a geode-type, like, crack slide sort of thing in here. And I think this looks really good. I really like it, honestly. It's not super, like, full of the white. It's just very sparse on the white outline. I feel like it just it really makes it look really good. And then I also um, started to try and figure out how I wanted to do this to make it fit and integrate a little bit better. I think it works how it is. I just need, um, I'm thinking slime blocks might look good if I can shove them up there. I just don't have any slime right now. So we can't, well, I can't put any uh, blocks up there because I just don't have any. I found a pink sheep. So I built him a little, a little spot, which helps fill in this area. It wasn't really looking super good with just the detail. So this actually kind of helped fill in the area, right? Pinky boy. His name's Pinky Boy. I started digging out the area for where I want to put the furnace array. So that's what this is going to be. I don't really know how big the furnace array will be. Probably a uh, 64 furnace array so that we can smelt a stack of blocks per pretty much one smelting cycle. I also tried putting in some foliage to break up from the uh, gray, the dark gray. So it kind of adds some greenery and this obviously adds color, but this adds some greenery into the cave. And I really like the moss with the leaves. It really looks really good. I want to get, I think, um, some spore blossoms. I don't have any, but I would like maybe some spore blossom or some glow berries might look good as, as a part of this. Uh, like I tried doing it over here. It doesn't look as good as it does here. But I mean, it's not too bad. The leaves also seem like slightly more or less uh, color filled than the ones over here are, which is strange because I'm pretty sure it's the same by on my other side. But, you know, whatever. So that's all I've got uh, gotten up to in the last little bit. I've also uh, lit up majority of the area around my base. So I'm going to need to do some more tree chopping before I can do much. I went and filled in this little hole here. So it's got like a nice rock wall ledge here that I got a detail I will eventually but right at the moment I will not be doing it so I just I filled this in so that it's nice and neat and I still need a torch down here the next thing I think I want to do is continue decorating this so keep moving it down and decorate up to here and maybe finish terraforming the cave design down into this area over here I think so I think that's what I will probably do it won't take too long it'll take probably like 15 20 minutes to finish um just like the basic stone structure here and then I will come back through and decorate this all the way along here. I'm not going to touch this side over here at all because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with any of this. I have to think about it because I still might do some more stuff with this area. Another thing I was thinking about doing was I was wondering if maybe it might look cool if I took this section or somewhere along like maybe right here or right here and took it and made it like a pillar like these stalagmite pillars or whatever the, whatever is in this cave this type of cave it's got some of those pillars that you can build up right i was thinking maybe i could build one here which would help detail this flat section of wall right here and it could go up maybe kind of curve angle up into here which would make this fit better in this area or right here and it can go up and curve up into here which would make that fit better i'm not 100 percent sure i'd have to i'd have to do some testing with that to see how that would look doing a little bit of work in the nether side of things uh, i've started to build a bit of my tunnel so i've got a nice blue ice way going all the way uh, i've completed majority of it all the way down here this side i still haven't finished yet this is quite a, a, a flash warning this tunnel um, this is the part that i have finished so we got like terracotta the cyan terracotta it's, i didn't feel like putting too much detail into the walls because you know you're flying by it either on the boat or flying right you you're not going to pay attention too much to it i did these uh fancy lights i, I, I quite like this light design with like the end rod and the lightning rod it kind of fits pretty well i think but uh yeah flying down here it's a bit of a like flash warning because it's flashes a lot but this is what i've done for my tunnel right by the entrance uh, i want to change this out I think for probably the cyan terracotta. I just have it set as this because everyone in the world has a specified block for finding your way through the nether. So mine is soul sand and I think, uh, um, I don't know whose is whose here. Yeah, that's the end. Mine, pixels, c-dubs, weaves, right? We all have specified blocks. So, you know, the snow block. I think that's a snow block. The wood, bamboo, 
and the end the end is over there it all just makes it a lot easier to figure out where people's places are and understanding whose is whose i mean you can come up and read my wonderful sign this is plinko's base on it and if you can't read then well, that seems like a you problem to me honestly but it is pretty fun to boat down this i'm not gonna lie it is it's nice and it's a lot faster than flying and it's a lot worse on your eyeballs to look at so i need a lot of terracotta for my base and I need to get a wither so we can get a beacon to put it in the badlands so I can mine that terracotta way quicker. Pixel also needs a lot of terracotta. So we're going to team up and go kill the wither. And he also has a little gift for me. <laughs> it's, it's so funky. I didn't notice that. So you you are officially one of the good old members of good old Gizmonic Institute. Am I hearing that right? I uh, believe so. Yep, you should be. Well, Susan from HR. She told me, called me up and was like, yeah, you're 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 now a part of this. Your application's been accepted. I'm like, yay! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, because now we have your mandated company uniform. Here we go. Look at that. Good old company jumpsuit. mandated jumpsuit. Awesome. Whenever you are, you know, working here at Gizmonic or doing anything involving Gizmonic company crappy business, we gotta be wearing these suits. Oh yeah, looking pretty snazzy. I of course am a Gizmonic engineer. Did Susan tell you what your position? I was no, no, she it? didn't. She didn't say anything, no. All right, I'll, I'll ask her some some other time. Discord, shut up! Linka, what are we doing today? Well, we are going to fight Wither because Yay. we need a beacon for the Terracotta area, you know? Yay. And we need to we need to get... We need, a, we need a beacon for the Terracotta area. So we're going to kill, kill the Wither so we got Wither. Wither. <laughs> we're going to kill the Wither so that we could get a beacon for there because... And I've got the gold blocks for it, so we're golden. Do you want to want to go <laughs> want to go kill there. the beacon? Let's go kill the beacon. <laughs> kill the <laughs> beacon. Kill, kill the wither. Wow, kill words. Wither. Words are hard. We are professional wordsmiths. Pixel. Pixel, pixel, pixel. Are you ready? Take that as a yes. Okay. You go put that skull over there and we'll be out of here. And you good luck. That could happen. <laughs> See you running away. So. Oh. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. You go. Wait, where'd he go? Wait. Don't see him. Hmm. He's up here. Where did he go? Oh my. No, sir. Sir. Okay, this is a problem. Stop climbing, man. Second. I'm sneaking up on him. I got the drop on him. Oh. Ooh, look at all this deep slate. Ow. Oh, oh, he's done. He's curtains. There he goes. Ow. What the hell was that for? Stupid bitter. One last blow. We survived. We sure did. And we got and a begone. Look at this beautiful thing. So shiny. Anyway, well, we, we we just did this good old good old very simple wither fight. Nothing, nothing much to it. Right. Nothing, nothing, no, no, nothing, never. No, no, nothing, nothing whatsoever. No. <clears throat> so uh, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna use this for the Badlands. Yep. Right. I'm gonna set up the beacon. I've got the gold blocks, yeah, somewhere. I don't know where I shoved them. Perfect. They're around here. You know, I'll, I'll see, I'll see you later. Bye. bye. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank. You. Welcome to Gizmonic. Man, that guy's weird. finished building this little section so i it was right here before and it was all ugly so i just kind of finished it and smoothened it off and covered up this wall over here i don't think i'm gonna continue this i there's no reason for me to continue building it in that direction so we're for now we're just gonna leave it blank i can always dig that way more if i need to but just for the sake of how it looks we're just gonna we're gonna fill that in um you might also notice by looking up that i added in the the pillar idea i wanted uh i added this one in i did it pretty skinny and it didn't really look right being skinny so i kind of just thickened it up and made it a really thick section so it kind of like encases these two areas and i'm still i'm, I'm, I'm a little i'm not really too sure I really don't know about it. I think it looks good, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think of this down below. I put this one up here. I quite like it, this one. I didn't, I thought about just like filling in this whole section right here, making this just one smooth hill. But then I was like, well, this, this makes it easy for me to get up to my portal. And then when I come out of my portal, I normally just walk off the edge and into the water. So that, that literally is perfect. I am, um, I made this over here more of a, 
tunnel. So you come down here and it's into a little bit of a cavey tunnel and then you come back out into the big open cave kind of thing. I think it's I think it's cool actually. The more I think about it and the more I actually walk through it, it looks really cool. Another thing I also did on a stream is do some more planning work for the city layout. As you can see very clearly, I did some work over here. So we got this, these, these are, these outlines here are roads. So this is where I'm planning the roads to go. And this right here would be a building plan or sub sort of building structure plan. This is just a road that curves down here. And then I think I'm going to put buildings right here. And I thought about putting buildings here, but there's not exactly enough space to put any sort of a building here, I think, or here and here. So this might just be a greenery, maybe like a park kind of thing. I'm not really too sure yet. I haven't really planned that far ahead. There'll be more buildings here, I think, or some sort of beach. If I could, like, maybe I'll raise the water level. I think that's too much work, but I could. You never know. I have done a bit of building. Okay, so this is what I, uh, I just added another geode over here. So we got, like, a slightly bigger size geode. Obviously, it doesn't look as good as this one because this one, I think, is smaller, and I like the look of how it looks. It looks it looks a lot better i got more of the geode amethyst crystal thingy madu dads so we i can add those to this because when i built this i didn't have any so i had to go find some more i tried um something a little different this time and i tried putting a lot and i mean a lot of foliage around here trying to fill in base a little bit more i don't mind it actually i don't hate it and i don't really like it i'm not i'm a little in between i'm not super sure what i want to do with it i think i'm going to keep it for now because i'm too lazy to take it down for the real reason we're going to leave that I also went and did this side and I decided like I thought well maybe I shouldn't do deep slates sporadically placed and I should do deep slate and kind of like veins strippy veins so I did like a vein of deep slate and I put the smooth basalt block in there as well and I think it actually just adds a little bit of a texture difference from just whatever the hell the textures are I also found a slime chunk by my base so we can shove some slime in here and see how this actually looks with us some slime blockages blockages in here i don't really know it's gonna stay regardless but because i need it to stay but i found slime and there's a slime chunk we wander over to this hole over here down here in this cave this is a slime chunk so is the one below it so that's it's that's cool i'm happy about that slime is very much needed so and, oh and this hole is like it's perfect fly up and i'm like perfectly up on the surface so i've done a little bit more since the last clip i uh upgraded the sugarcane farm so i added a couple more rows so it's producing much quicker because i was uh causing i was not getting enough uh, uh that paper to fuel my my rockets so i was like I, I upgraded it and now i got more paper than i need have um gunpowder so i'm happy with that uh, another thing i did was i connected this up the shulker box loader up with the system back here so we've got a bunch of hoppers it's not going to be sorted obviously because i don't really know how to do that and i don't feel like doing that and there's no real point i think this is probably an excessive amount of storage because you can fit 27 i think it's 27 maybe it's a little bit more than that but you can fit a lot of blocks in one chest i probably will never actually fill up one row of chests so i might as well just remove all of this and use the hoppers elsewhere but i connected that up with this and then the uh, bubble elevator and it just loads it up and Currently, I'm loading my um, stone boxes up because I would like to clean up this mess of random blocks I have out front because I need this space for a project that we're going to do in the next episode. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, do hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.